I never thought in my lifetime that I would see the complete and total breakdown of society, of morality, of morals, of uh, civility. On their website, they are calling for an open civil war that they will start here in the United States in November. They are fundraising for weapons, training, ammunition, supplies. They're not hiding this. They are openly fundraising so that they could get the stuff together to attack and, and this is verbatim what they're going to do. They will start off by attacking police officers, first responders, anybody that's in uniform. And after they have disrupted that enough in the nation and us first responders are literally going everywhere trying to resolve things, they will then go after the citizens and the people and the government and, and all of that. America is heading for a collapse, not just economically, but also socially. Consider the fact that our nation is socially divided at this point. You have many different groups even rioting at various events. We have a cultural chaos going on in this country. This article was a reprint. Uh, actually, I have the original copy if you would like it. Uh, I can get it to Prophecy Club and, and you could uh, request that. They'll you know, get it to you. Uh, this was in the uh, 1991 uh, Santa Barbara, California news press paper. This has to do with a single high altitude nuclear blast by a rogue nation. I couldn't believe my eyes in what I saw. I saw this massive military movement coming out of this area up in here. It came down between, in the Atlantic, down between the United States and Europe. It was marine and air, as you can see the, the airplanes. This was my first confirmation in the sense from, a, uh, from General Walker. General Walker has given me many confirmations. This was my first picture of actually that they had drawn this assault taking place. It shows also the movement coming out of Europe uh, across to take these countries. And NATO command center is right in here. I watched the hand of God because God said, I will not let utter annihilation take place in this nation. In the latter days, I will gather the wicked who have no heart to repent. I will gather them as I gathered the animals into Noah's ark. 
and I shut the door. I will gather them into cities that are marked for utter destruction. They will be in massive conferences and conventions. They will be parading down the streets in the nude in all their philosophies and all their demands and their haughtiness when the bombs hit. And you will see them no more. If you don't believe that, that's Psalms chapter 37. You will look for them, the Word of God says, and they will be ashes under your feet. I say to you, if you are watching this right now, and you are haughty in your spirit, and you say away with this Christian stuff, and all this radical Christianity, I plead with you, it is time to repent. Behold, today is the day of salvation. If you don't turn now, you will be drawn by the Spirit of God. And when the destruction hits this nation, it will take you out and you will be ashes under the believer's feet. The Word of God says it. In that vision, I saw missiles coming up over the coastal range. They were cruise missiles. I explained them to a gentleman just a few days ago who's an official from the Pentagon. And he asked me many questions about these missiles that came in out of the sea. They came off the sea. They were fired from the sea. And he said, Henry, those were cruise missiles. And he said, we've been worried about this. Because he said, you see, these subs, the Kula subs and Typhoon subs are all loaded with cruise missiles. It's cruise missiles that are undetectable. And we're afraid they're going to take out our strategic command centers. How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? This weapon makes the U.S. military unable to respond, broken because of what looks like equipment malfunction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might hath failed because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bows is broken, and this weapon leaves Babylon silent and in darkness. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. There is only one weapon that can affect an entire continent, leave the military unable to defend itself and plunge America into silence and darkness. Vladimir Putin's weapon of indignation is an electromagnetic pulse. An EMP, or electromagnetic pulse, is an electromagnetic discharge that fries sensitive circuits within minutes, even seconds. Most modern day appliances, the gadgets we use daily, and even the US power grid all have sensitive circuits built in. Think of a normal blackout when you don't have any lights, heating, or internet. Only an EMP blackout is permanent and on a large scale. This means you can also say goodbye to telecommunications, transportation, and even utilities. Silence and darkness. Military command and control, as well as most of the high-tech equipment, is very vulnerable to an EMP. One blast will reduce our army to fighting using weapons that existed before the 1900s. This weapon fulfills Bible prophecy to the letter. It's swift, has a huge area effect, knocks out our military, breaks the hammer of the earth, and sets the stage for the assembly of nations to invade. And all it takes is not 100, not even 50, but just one warhead to be detonated above the US and the effects would be irreversible. EMP device that can be strategically detonated at an altitude of 20 miles above the surface of our country that will permanently cripple our power grid and plunge America into silence and darkness. The real danger of an EMP is it could happen without any signs or warnings and the King of the North has drilled his soldiers to do exactly that. There's never been so many nuclear drill exercises targeting the US in recent history. Putin is preparing to fulfill his role according to the Holy Book. The effects of the EMP will destroy America as we know it. Looters, famine, civil unrest, and finally, the foreign invasion. Exactly as the scriptures predicted. Can you imagine what would happen during an EMP when all the power is out? Just remember what happened during Katrina or the London riots or during Hurricane Sandy. And that's not nearly the worst of it.